Yeah, yeah we love yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bong 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 Michael. Yes, we're in the name. Thank you, thank you. Viral ngayon ang naging komento ni Prince Charles kay Presumptive President Bongbong Marcos Jr. Ikinagulat ng mga netizens ang isang video na ibinahagi ng overseas Filipino worker kung saan ay makikita si Prince Charles ng United Kingdom na binabati ang kanyang mga Filipino fans na kanyang nadaanan. Sa nasabing video, Makikita ang prinsipe na kinakumusta ang mga Pilipino kung saan ay pinuri niya ang Pilipinas at tinawag itong very good part of the world. Nasorpresa naman ang mga OFW dahil sa alam din ni Prince Charles na katatapos lamang ng eleksyon sa Pilipinas at kilala rin ito ang nanalo. I see you elected a new president, wika ng prinsipe. Yeah, we love it. Tugo naman ng mga OFW. Bongbong, Bongbong Marcos, what a wonderful name, sabi pa ni Prince Charles. Ikinatuwa naman ng mga netizens na alam ng prinsipe ang nangyayari sa Pilipinas at kung sino ang pinili ng mga Pilipino na maging susunod nilang leader. Uh, pati mga gababayan si Prince Charles, sumipsip na kay <laughs> Uh, tingin niyo bakit siya napabulalas ng gano'n na uh, sumipsip? <laughs> What a wonderful name! A viral video of Britain's Prince Charles commenting on presumptive President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s nickname has been making rounds online. May raw? Hingit na naman ito yung mga kakampon. <laughs> May imbitasyon na si Representative President Ferdinand Bombo Marcos Jr. para sa isang state visit sa Singapore. May git isang buwan na bago o buwan pa bago ang inaasang pag-upo nito bilang bagong pangulo ng bansa. Sa isang sulat, binati na Singaporean President Halima Yaakob si BBM sa pagkapanalo nito sa katatapos na halalan at inaanyayahang bumisita sa kanilang bansa. Umaasa ang Pangulo ng Singapore na mas titibay pa ang ugnayan ng kanilang bansa sa Pilipinas sa ilalim ng Marcos Presidency. Dumagdag si President Jacob sa listahan ng dumaraing o dumaraming leader ng, ba- ng ibang bansa na bumabati kay BBM sa tagumpay nito sa presidential elections. Malaki ang posibilidad na mapaikli pa ang araw ng canvassing para sa mga kandidato ng presidente at vice-presidente sa mababang kapulungan ng Kongreso. Ayon kay House Secretary General Mark Leandro Mendoza, ang orihinal na plano ay sisimulan ito ng alas 10 ng umaga at tatapusin ng alas 10 ng gabi sa kababalik ulit kinabukasan sa pareho ring oras. Pero maaari pa anyang mapaikli ang araw ng canvassing lalo kung tuloy-tuloy ang bilangan ng boto dahil sa electronic na system Anya maaari simulan nila ng alas 10 ng umaga at diretsyo na ng madaling araw kinabukasan kung kakayaning tapusin agad ang canvassing. Pero depende pa rin anya ito sa sitwasyon kaya sa mga susunod na araw ay magsasagawa pa sila ng huling pulong para rito. Sa Mayo 24, araw ng Martes ay transport ang mga balota mula sa Senado papuntang Batasan Complex. Alas 10 ng umaga ay magbubukas ang Kongreso para sa isang joint session at pagsapit ng hapon ay magkoconvene ng Kamara at Senado para sa pagsisimula na ng canvassing sa boto ng mga kandidato para sa presidente at vice-presidente sa katatapos na 2022 election. Even Prince Charles said recently in a encounter with a Filipino, um, I hear you've elected a new president. He didn't say, I hear you might have elected a new president. He didn't say, oh, by the way, there are allegations of election fraud and you might not elect a new president. He categorically said, you've elected a new president. And now you have these resistors who are trying to stop that process. Of course that's their right. I accept that and I accept the rule of law um, is obviously very important and should be respected. But you know, the Filipino people have voted overwhelmingly by a majority of 31 million Filipinos to elect Sabongbong Marcos as the next president of the Republic of the Philippines. 
So if in their wildest dreams this application by them would be successful, what you are basically doing is disenfranchising these 28, uh, these, sorry, these 31 million Filipinos. What you are saying to these 31 million Filipinos is that their efforts were wasted. And even though they'd been, they've elected who they thought would be the new president, this uh, meddling by you or this uh, um, stressful situation where you're trying to reverse that decision and then you go on to say they want to give it, to, they should give it to the second place. And of course, the second place by a uh, far uh, um, distance in many less votes is, of course, Vice President Lenny Robredo. Now, this is exactly what you would want. But from what I can see, this holds no merit whatsoever. You know, the Philippines is a democracy. The Philippines would be an absolute laughing stock if it turned out that this would, uh, um, this decision would be overturned. Of course, the Supreme Court has got to consider this. And of course, the Supreme Court has actually asked for the BBM camp to obviously give their reasons, if you like, or to comment on this particular petition. But for many people in the Philippines, including myself, this is a worrying time. This is a very stressful time. You know, I hope that the Supreme Court, and it's not for me to say, can obviously uh, look at the, uh, the overwhelming vote and can obviously respect the will of the people. But of course, I appreciate they have to go through the legal process as well. Obviously, I can't get involved in that as, an, as a foreigner. It will be wrong of me to question the actual petition. But I do think this is another um, tactic. This is another tactic of the opposition. The opposition are absolutely desperate at the moment, and they're going to try whatever they can to uh, try and um, uh, um, overturn the will of the people, to try and also to, to, to completely quash the people's vote. And you know what? There was EDSA a long time ago where they were talking about uh, the EDSA and what happened at that time. Well, I have to say, it's not for me to say I'm not Filipino, but God forbid if this was to happen and if somehow this was overturned or if somehow the uh, um, this was actually... Uh, uh, um, I don't think it will be agreed by the Supreme Court. But if this was to happen, can you imagine it? You know, you saw Red, so, you know, you can see something a lot worse. You know, you'll have 31 very, very angry Filipino citizens. And of course, I would be very, very upset by that as well. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is just another nuisance petition. This is just another nonsense to make BBM look bad. But the fact is, I know BBM will work tirelessly for the Filipino people. I know that he will support all Filipinos and he will respect all Filipinos, including those who didn't vote for him. This is all about unity. The unity team of BBM and Indai Sara Duterte is for the people. Anyway, let's hope and pray that there isn't going to be anything untoward. Let's hope and pray that this uh, uh, nonsense petition um, is uh, dismissed. But I think it's right that obviously there is a legal process and the Supreme Court have asked all parties to make uh, comments, including the camp of BBM. And I'm, I sure, I'm sure that will come in the coming days. But let's all pray. Let's all be vigilant. Let's all be uh, watchful.